It's Randy with Carchaeology, and it is another Monday at the Mega Estate in Anza, California. I've got somebody that is coming to pick up a uh, big portable welder that's on the property. Uh, it sounds like he's interested in some other stuff as well. Uh, and a lady coming by to take a look at some other treasures. Um, and I really have no idea what she's going to buy. Might be a little, might be a lot. But follow along and let's see what sort of trouble we get into today. One of the cars that a lot of people have asked about here is this 1960 Plymouth Fury. Uh, we have a video dragging this thing down here to the uh, front of the property where it could be picked up. Um, and I have announced that it has been sold, but I haven't told anybody where it's going. This bad boy is actually going to go to Australia. There's a collector over there that's kind of known for coming to America to find interesting stuff. And uh, he saw the video of this car and photos online, kind of fell in love with it. And he plans on bringing this thing to the land of Oz and hopefully reviving it. So I wanted to do a little video, not only to share with him of the car uh, as it is right now, but also to clear it out, see what sort of treasures we find inside and to eventually send this thing off to the land of Oz. And I hope to follow up on the car, find out what he does with it, and uh, see if it goes on to live a long and wonderful life after so many years of cooking in the desert. So I've started pulling out some junk. In there's a box with dog, actually part of a Dodge emblem. Uh, some old bottles, uh, an old little stationary engine or a little lawnmower engine. And inside there is all sorts of stuff and it's really pretty nasty. It's gonna be kind of hard for me to uh, take video and pull the stuff out at the same time because I'm just here by myself today. But uh, I will drag a bunch of it out and share all the good stuff with you if there is any good stuff to share. Cleanup begins. <laughs> wow. Oh, really? Is there something crawling up there? Oh, my God. Awesome. Yeah, we've seen some big rats jumping out of these things, too, when you get into them. Too cool. It's such a fun little car, though. No dead bodies in there. <laughs> Treasures. Got a whole truck full here. Finding a home and the folks also fell in love with the Metropolitan. They're going to take that as well. Super fun. Yep, they packed it full. Hey. Don't pay, please. That Don't looks comfy. Stop. I'm making sure there's no babies, because if there are, I'm going to kill them. Okay. So we got the Buick special frame out of the hole. Try to drag it down. Uh, 
You don't have to worry about scratching the bodywork on this one. And there it goes, wheels are rolling. Well, most of them at least. <laughs> Love it. And that was way up over here. And sitting right next to it was the uh, little Metropolitan convertible. So that'll be the next one to pull out. Try to get the stuff out front so people can grab it a bit easier. packed in there tight and the Buick chassis is down here ready for pickup if anybody's interested in that it's like the dash is pretty complete the straight eight engine is all there there's the body tag when I looked this up it came up as a 53 Buick special so it was actually a pretty special car um, but the motor is all there carb is on it Firewall is there, the dash, and the frame is in good shape. Make an offer, take it home. Big air compressor. Awesome. See ya. I love those markings. Need hot. Oh yeah. Love it. Like it wanted to go. Yeah, it still, still rolls. That's nice. 
I love that. Family ranch up in Idaho, we have a little old biscuit scraper. Uh huh. Yeah, I think this is, I forget what the Adams was that the name in this one? Adams Road Maintainer number six. the engine for the Metropolitan. That one's not going to roll very well. Oh, there's another engine block. Oh yeah, check that out. Here, I'll steer. <laughs> Metropolitan finds a home and they cleaned it out of the mountain of rat crap that was on the inside. But uh, super excited folks to have this car. Uh, they've got a perfect spot for it and are looking forward to perhaps doing some restoration as well. So totally, totally awesome. Great day out here at the ranch. We found homes for a bunch of stuff. We even sold the big road grader and uh, they're going to come back and pick that up next week. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Slowly but surely, this place is emptying out.